Hey guys, Fiber Leaky here today, and I just want to make a few corrections based on the last episode of Redstone Tutorials. Um, so, it's probably my fault for not checking the things before I posted it, but, I mean, in all honesty, it really doesn't make too much difference to what I was trying to explain to you. Um, so the OR gate we made last time was actually a NAND gate, and I'll explain why in a second, but first I'll show you a real OR gate. So, first what we're going to do is put a torch on top of a single block like this, and put some redstone here, and another torch here. And now this is actually a repeater. This is an old school repeater because it repeats our signal along the line. So if we turn this on, the output comes on. Um, now to make it an OR gate, it's really simple. We just have multiple inputs to this single block. So this is now an OR gate. We're in that if we have this input on, that will turn on. If we have this input on, it will still turn on. And if we have this one on, it will turn on as well. And of course, if we have all of them on, it will be on. Right, so that's an OR gate. Um, that's what I should have done. But... I kind of I, I kind of jumped the gun in the fact that the way I was doing it like this, um, the reason this isn't an OR gate is quite simple in the fact that we know an AND gate looks pretty much similar to this. Um, it looks like this. This is an AND gate right here. Um, so this is an AND gate where we need both inputs on to have the output on. So that's an AND gate. Now what this make what makes this a NAND gate is the fact that this is on when both are off. So this is now a NAND gate, which means it's a not AND gate, which means it just inverts the output, essentially. Um, the reason this is really similar to a uh, an OR gate is the fact that you can you only need one to change the uh, the output like this. So like we have both of them on now, so it's off. But if we have one, then it's on. And similar over here, if we have one, it's on. If we have both, it's on. Um, the reason it's similar is just because of that fact that this, because of this inverter over here, it makes it off um, for all other inputs. Um, so the only difference with this one is, uh, difference between this and an OR gate is, in fact, this is on when both of those are off. Um, other than that, the outputs will be the same. So this is why, I mean, it doesn't really matter, the fact that I made the mistake, but I thought I'd just quickly clarify that um, before we move forward any further. Sorry for the uh, the little disruption in the series there.